what is up guys welcome back to our fusion fall retro playthrough this is part seven we are now on our technically second part of our new retro 1.1 update kind of playthrough where we're going through all the new 10 new missions that were added in the retro beta 1.1 patch um including uh the six that we did last part and there's four more that we're going to be doing this part including a candy jar which can be the first one on our list um, as always, guys, if you're enjoying the playthrough so far, please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. If you guys want to give any feedback on anything I'm doing, uh, comment section is the best way to do that. I read all your comments. And if you guys want to keep updated on the kind of videos I'm doing and what, uh, what I'm working on, uh, the subscribe button is going to be your best bet, along with ringing that dang old bell that everyone keeps talking about. Um, so anyway, we're going to kick it right off with Candy Jar. A, or I guess it would be Candy Jar by Licorice Lips. The new captain, or I guess the new, like, important pirate of the Candy Pirates after Sticky Beard has uh, mysteriously disappeared. Or, not disappeared, more has gone off, and can Liquor Slip says, Arr! The tank terror is near the old Sweet Revenge stole me candy jar. I need someone to get it back. You look like you get the job done, matey. We can take that mission right now. We're going to take that old mission right now. We're going to, uh, be able to get the candy jar back from the tank terrors. So what we're gonna do, gonna run on up here and uh, take out some tank terrors. Looks like they're uh, honestly just right up in these front yards up here. So it's not too uh, too much of a too much of a hustle. They're in fact right here. So let's get out Eddie now because we'll do more damage. Yeah, okay, he's not gonna have it in my candy jar. How about this guy? This guy's gotta have it. He's looking like he has it. He looks like he has it for sure. Oop. Come on. Nope, he didn't have it either, unfortunately. Let's try, um... Oh, maybe this one. Oh, that one's aggroed on someone else. We're not going to get the reward. Let's try this one. This one seems... This one's definitely got to have it. There he goes. We got it. All right, Avast, that candy jar's empty. No one steals candy from a candy pirate. And he's going to have another one in a second. This guy's buffed a bit. Go to the candy store in Poke Yoke South. And bring me a new haul. Okay, so we gotta go refill his candy jar with some candy from the candy store um, in Pokyok South. So this is another mission that has you go to Pokyok South. Um, this is actually a, a cooler mission because uh, the Pokyok candy store is actually on Don Doom's route. So if you're lucky, you Let's can rest. if you if you ever get lucky with like spawns, you can it might be able to like catch Don Doom on this route and maybe uh have your chance at getting a crate of some kind, which is gonna be perfect. Bye bye. So we're gonna head on over. Uh, it's not too far of a walk. It's kind of just like it's over by Genius Grove, but it's not too too over by Genius Grove. You know what I'm saying? Um, and yeah, uh, another thing I wanted to bring up before while I'm like just walking. Um, on the part five video, I wanted you guys to comment um what guide you wanted me to pick when we end up going to the past. Now we haven't obviously we can't go to the past quite yet. That uh, still needs to be worked on. But when we do get to go to the past, um. I had you guys vote okay. in that video. If you guys have not voted, go check out that part. It's part five. It's called The Secrets of the Future. It has Larry3000 in the, thumb in the thumbnail. Um, go to that video, and in the comments, vote for which guide you want me to pick in uh, when we go to the past. Uh, either Dexter, Ben Tennyson, Double D, or Mojo Jojo. Um, so far, uh, there have been a lot of people. A lot of you guys have been commenting um, you know, with all your opinions on, on the different guides. Um, so far, from what a uh, quick head count has, I haven't gone in depth and counted every single one, but a quick head count says that uh, Double D and Ben are currently in the lead, um, followed by Dexter, and then Mojo Jojo is trailing a bit behind there. So if you want to support your favorite guide, make sure they win. Go to part five of the retro playthrough and make sure you guys comment which guide you want me to pick over there. And we reach the candy store door. Good work. Bring the candy to me, and you could be on your merry on your. What, would, what did I even say? On your way. So, what we're going to do is, uh, as I've just walked all the way there and all the way back, I'm going to cut the part and, uh, or not cut the part, I'm going to cut the video and I'll meet you back in the candy part camp. Alright, so we are back in the candy part camp. We've made it. We're going to talk to Licorice Lips and see what we got. Good show, me friend. You took down them barrel bashers and refilled. Uh, we actually didn't kill the barrel busters. We killed the uh, tank terrors. We killed the tank terrors and refilled me candy jar. Tis true that you would make a fine candy pirate. So I'm assuming that the barrel busters were supposed to be um, 
where the original name for the tank terrors are probably barrel busters originally they just never changed it all right so we finished the candy jar now we have two more missions to do i will meet you guys over in the junkyard right now all right so now that we're in the junkyard we can do samurai jack's mission a mission awaits you he says jack and the giant robot the megas robot lies nearby a fallen warrior i fear we need his strength if we hope to save our world i want to know if there's any hope in reviving him so we're gonna head on into megas's last stand and we're gonna see if there's any hope of ever reviving megas from his fusion matter prison so we're gonna i'm gonna show you guys a secret shortcut because uh, I don't think I ever did that um, before. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But the cool secret shortcut you can do for Megas is if you head on up here. Ooh, I missed I missed the jump. I missed the jump. Oh, no. There's going to be many of missing. There's going to be many jumps that I miss in this playthrough. Um, that was just one of many that's about to happen. Okay. So you head on up to this roof. If, I, if I've already showed you this, I apologize, but I can't remember if I did or not. I feel like I went along, around the long way last time. Um, but if you take this cannon and you just point it over here and just boop. I don't know if you're supposed to full power it. Uh, it looks like uh, it was a bit too bit too far. So a bit less than full power. And you basically just hit the waypoint like that. Jack says, climb, climb atop Megas and see if there's any hopes of bringing him back to life. Next we're going to hop up here with Cubby Degasi or whatever that is. Uh, look for areas where his fusion matter prison may be weak. So we're just gonna climb Megas right now. You don't even have to climb him. Once you get, yeah, once you get like around here, uh, it counts. We're still gonna climb Megas anyway for the fun of it. Uh, Jackson, that's enough. Return to me and tell me what you learned. Okay, so we're gonna climb Megas anyway, even though we already completed the task, because you just have to kind of like walk under him. But I think it would be cool to climb Megas like for real. So we're up here on Megas. Unfortunate what happened. Uh, very, very cool, like, iconic part of Fusion Fall is Megas kind of, like, trapped. But we're going to head on back to Jack now and tell him what we learned. And that will be that. We done with that mission. Okay. Let's talk to Jack. So your efforts were noble. I'm afraid that Megas Robot is incapacitated for now. We will have to continue on our own. Thank you for the assistance. And now he's wrapped a rampage. In addition to keeping Megas disabled, I am certain that Fuse's forces are scavenging technology from the salvage yard. We cannot let this continue. You shall see you soon. So we gotta go inside Megas' last stand, and we gotta defeat some motor raptors, it looks like. So we defeat three motor raptors. Should be easy enough. Right on over here. Hey, everybody. They're a lot harder to kite than they were originally, because uh, you do... Combat is fixed, so they take more hits to kill. Um, because they are, like, melee and tankier. Um, okay. Very good. You have a true warrior spirit, but there are more. Okay, so we gotta... We still gotta take out four more. That's not too... That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Just four more? I can handle that. I can totally handle that. Especially with my trusty Eduardo Nano by my side. Let's drain this guy. Monster Roar. Well done. There's one more group nearby. Oh, I gotta defeat five more. Oh, that's... I thought... Okay, well, looks like our crates are full also, so after this I'm going to go through my inventory and sell some things. We got five more motor raptors to defeat. Looks like there's some people also doing this mission over here. Dabby Momo. Red, what is that, red something? Blaze? I couldn't read the full name, which is why I said uh, red something. I couldn't read the full name in time. Looks like we got one more to do, and here he is. There we go. What's this? Those creatures dropped something. Bring it to me. All right, what did they drop? Let's find out what they dropped. But first, uh, we're going to clear out our inventory, because there is... We, we want to get the reward for this mission, obviously, so if we have a full inventory, we can't do that. So let's open some of these crates. Oh, we got quite a bit. Let's see if we get anything good. Anything? Basic jigsaw shirt. Ah, these are kind of low level. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Just, like, stuff. Maybe some of these are going to be good. Ooh, the vulcanized loafers are actually better than what I have on. Let me do that. Yep. Uh, ooh, this is... Ah, it's one point worse. But it's my it's my hoodie, so I'm going to put it on. It's only one point worse. It's not that bad. Not that bad of a deal. And all of these pipe pants are even better than what I have currently. 
Grand Cannon is technically better as well. Um, what about this? Nah, that's worse. That's objectively worse. So is that. We're gonna equip the Grand Cannon for now. We'll switch up our weapon a little bit. And now we can sell some things. Some Let's just sell the things we don't need. I didn't mean to sell the lightning gun, but you know, oh well. I can actually buy that back. There's a buyback tab, so let me buy this lightning gun back, because I kind of want that. Um, we can sell all this. None of this is really needed down here. The gumballs I'll keep, but the rest of this can go. Go, 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 go. I'm going to keep the, uh, nah, let's sell it. Let's sell that too. Okay. So we got some room now in our inventory. Jack says, thanks to you, we've recovered the atomizer from Fuse's soldiers. So it's an atomizer we got. I'm not really sure what an atomizer is, but we sure got it. Had he gotten his hands on that, the results could have been disastrous. Your skills are admirable. An atomizer. This is a deadly device in the wrong hands. Thank you for recovering. We must remain ever vigilant around here, or Fuse could gain even greater advantage. So it looks like we got some kind of atomizer, and we you know, got that out of Fuse's hands, which is always good. Um, I'm actually going to equip uh, this uh, Proton Meta Mace as my, my second weapon. I'm going to equip that for now, because it's a pretty cool weapon. We can uh, beat some people with cells with this. Anyway, we have one more mission to do, one final mission to do, and I will meet you guys in Genius Grove when we, uh, when we get there. All right, we're here at Genius Grove for our last and final mission. This one is a very lengthy one, so I'm not going to do any cuts during the middle of it. I'm gonna I'm just going to run and uh, talk it out through the whole time. Messages across time. This is probably a, this is a fan favorite for sure. My synchronization engine alone cannot transport matter across the space-time continuum, but it can transport a message. I want you to send some for me. So we're going to send some messages for Mandark. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. So we got to go to Genius Grove. Well, we're already in Genius Grove, but... We're going to head on over to Genius Grove, which is right here. First, I want you to send a message to Dexter, my arch-rival. So we got to go send a message to Dexter using the wormhole. Now, I showed you guys this wormhole over in the Secrets of the Future video part 5. You can guys go check that out if you haven't. Um... It's a very, very cool uh, thing they have in all the different areas, and this mission actually has you go to all four of the wormholes across the uh, across the map and uh, interact with them and send messages to the guides of the, the past. So this is also probably a good time to, to say, uh, if you guys wanted to vote for what guide I, p I pick specifically, you guys will see all the guides in this video. Um, so we got Dexter. We're sending a message to Dexter right now. And... Uh, we're going to talk to this wormhole. There we go. Good. I've uploaded the message to the synchronization engine. Send it. So now, we got to go to the cul-de-sac, which we can take a monkey there. Um, the next wormhole is in the cul-de-sac, where you can send a message to Double D. All right, so we're going to go send a message to Double D. Uh, one of the other guides. Personally, my favorite guide, but don't let the fact that he's my favorite guide, um, you know, impact your voting or anything. I'm fine with playing any guide. Um... I just think Double D has like the coolest sets out of all of them because you get like the Urban Ranger set, you get Lord Snot's Axe, you get some other cool stuff. Um, that's really really dope. I uh, like the Blue Skater set. That's, that's probably my, one of my favorites. Um, we're gonna take a monkey on over to uh, the Cold de Sac. We are going to talk to. Well, not gonna talk to. We're gonna interact with the wormhole. Send a message to Double D. It will be peachy peachy clean. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I'm currently recording this video at 2.30 in the morning. Um, because I was busy all day. I'm going to be busy all tomorrow. I'm not going to have time to record um, anytime during the day. Because um, I'm moving back into school on... Well, I guess by the time you watch this, it'll be like around that time. But like Monday. So um, this, this video will surely... This video will absolutely be up by Monday. But like... I'm moving back on Monday. So I'm going to have to move everything up to school. I'm going to have to reset up everything reset up the stream um get a new workflow with like videos and everything um but i'm excited i'm excited to uh to head on back to my second year at university so we're heading on over to the cold sack right now ba -ba 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 okay and once we do this there'll be two more missions or messages to send uh, we got Ben 10, of course, and Mojo Jojo. So we're making our descent into the good old cul-de-sac. As you do. And we've made it. Let's head on over to... I, really don't like, I think the run animation looks kind of stupid. Let's uh, let's pull out the Kran cannon. I don't know, he's just kind of like flailing his arms around. I know that's how you run, but like, it looks weird with the, the model, I think. 
There's also a hollow suit hand. I forgot about her. Hey, Let's buy a hollow going? suit. Hollow suits are free, so you can just buy one if you want. I'm not gonna put it on, obviously, because the stats are bad. But a hollow suit is like a really cool thing. Um, we can change the hollow suit to look like anything. So hollow suit, like during Halloween, had like skeleton bones. It was really cool. So message from. Message uploaded, synchronization ended, and sent. Ha ha ha. So now we have to go to Yo, Hero Square. So we can just take the scamper there, and it's perfect. It's right there. I've located the next wormhole at the Hero Square at Hero Square in Sector B. All right, so let's take the scamper over there. Good thing we learned about this in the last part. Learned about scampers. Fast travel. And here we are. We're here in Sector B, right here. Okay, so here we are. Oh, there we go. The message in the the message in the secret that bleh, bleh. the message in the synchronization engine is now going to Ben Tennyson. All right, now we got one more guide to go. And we got to run all the way to Chris House in Pokyok South. The last wormholes in Pokyok South can be found at the reclusive weirdo Chris's house. It's unstable. You must be fast. So, uh, we did poke a little bit of fun at uh, Chris Waldron with that uh, that line uh it says chris of weirdo we don't actually think of that of chris we love chris all of us love chris waldron um but we actually are going to his house it is modeled after his actual house um and it's in pokey oak south and we have a timeline we gotta get there fast we have what, 260 seconds is it to get there and if we're hoofing it on foot um it might take a little bit so try our best to get there as fast as we possibly can and then we're gonna be done we can uh, head on back to mandark i think and then we'll be uh Peachy clean with all of our new missions that we've done or we've added. So we are we're sprinting. We're gonna sprint. Number two is not gonna make it all the way, unfortunately. Um, unfortunate for for him. He's gonna run out of stamina, and uh, we're gonna have to walk at a normal person's pace. Unfortunately, not that you know this isn't normal people pace, but got two twenty left on the clock. Uh, I think we'll definitely have time to make it there. This is. A bit of a, a bit of a stretch, you know. It is it is one of the the, the only time missions, uh, at least in the feature that I remember, are that's like possible to fail, because like unless you beeline it straight there, um, you might you might like end up missing it. But I think we'll be there with plenty of time to spare. We still have two hundred whole seconds. That's over three minutes, um, and it won't take over three minutes to get there. But anyway, uh, this since we're kind of like winding down the part, um, I hope you guys up really enjoyed this update. It was a blast to, uh, you know, send out there and see all the reactions and uh, uh, all the support. Uh, it's been amazing, uh, and I can't wait to like, you know, update the game more and you know add more stuff and change more things. Not change, but like fix more things. And obviously, this is a lot, a lot, a lot of fun to work on, like with Legacy as well. Like you know, improving on on things uh, that they did putting our own creative spin on it um but yeah if you guys are if you uh, as i said earlier if you guys are enjoying um the, your support is definitely heard and it's definitely appreciated um to everyone not just me not just me uh, i don't i know a lot of people you think that i'm like the main dev or something it's uh, that's not really true um all the devs uh hear your support and hear your appreciation and we we all do appreciate it i'm just more of like a mouthpiece um so that it, uh, you know, it, it seems to come off uh, from me the most. Um, we're almost there at Chris's house. We're gonna get there soon. Um, not really much else to to say. I think number two is fine, so we can start sprinting again. Hopefully, this rogue golem uh, leaves us alone. Yeah. All right, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Here it is. This is Chris Waldron's house. And there's the wormhole over there. We're going to send a message to Mojo Jojo. There it is. Great work. All four messages were sent. All will bow to Mandark's genius. Ha! Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Alright, now we're going to run on back to Mandark. And he's he's not too far. You've done well. Come see me for a reward. And we're going to... Uh, we're going to run back to Mandark and collect our reward. Uh, probably just a crate. I think, but you know, rewards are nice. I love rewards. Woohoo! Man, this has been a fun two-part little extension. I didn't think we were actually going to be do able to do this when I made the first five parts. I didn't think I would have to make a six and seven that are also in the future. But it turns out, uh, through the power of 
game development. We have uh, we have added all the stuff that they have deleted, which is amazing, which is very nice to see. Um, along with the missions that I did here, um, if you guys make new characters, um, obviously I can't show these off because this character already did the missions. But for the missions such as Blackout Blitz, Protocore Chore, um, Bring Me the Head of Larry 3000, and I believe one more, hold up, wait, I can probably check this, and Band of Bandits. Um, all those four have been changed a little bit. Um, so there are like different tasks in them. Um, than they were originally uh, there. So, for example, Protocore Shore and Blackout Blitz, you now have to go into Mandark's house, Infected Zone over here, um, and climb up and grab some stuff, just like we did in Peach Creek Estates, um, as well as uh, bringing the head of Larry 3000, you have to go talk to some more people, um, because the mission is really about finding Larry's head, um, whereas in the uh, original update, it was more about Jack knowing exactly where it is as soon as you start the mission. Um, so we fixed that. Um, to how it was originally and we are heading on into our final stretch of the future mandark is here and we're going to turn in this quest so let's talk to him Let me get you want to thanks for sending those messages now when you go back to the past to save the future all will know they have mandark to thank ha 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 perfect you did especially good work this time. Thanks to my genius, everyone in the past will know that I helped save the future. Now you just have to do the hard part. Finish the time machine. Well. That is the hard part, and we have not finished the time machine yet, so you know, going to the past is not quite an option quite yet. We are working really hard on it, and we can't wait to get that out to you guys. Um, so let's, let's open the, the crate. We got what we get. Just a two-tone tea. Not bad, not bad. But anyway, that's going to be the part for this today, guys. I really appreciate all the support. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like on the playthrough go check out the other parts or any other videos on my channel if you guys want some more fusion fall content i also do some other videos not just fusion fall i'm not just a one trick fusion fall player uh, i do do other games and not just games but other concepts as well uh leave a subscription hit that big old subscribe button if you guys want to be notified when all my videos come out especially if you want to ring that bell and if you do ring the bell if you do ring the bell and you let me know that you ring the bell in the comment section below i will i'll give you guys i'll give some lucky people a shout out in the next video I do so if you guys want to ring that bell and let me know I would very much appreciate it uh, if you have any other comments you want to leave any other crew comments criticisms compliments poems interpretive dance anything you guys want let me know in the comments below I read every single one and uh, even though I don't respond to every single one I do read them and I do uh, I do hear everything you guys are saying and I do pass along the relevant things to the relevant people um, but that's going to be it for this playthrough. Thank you guys for watching part 7 of our Fusion Fall Retro playthrough. We will see you guys hopefully in part 8 when we can play through the past zone and start our big journey into the wonderful world of Fusion. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.